So now we're going to move on to the theme settings. So first of all, to check out what theme the site is using, we'll go to Appearance and then Themes. Okay, so we'll see we've got a lot of themes installed here. And the one that seems to be active is the Launchpad Child theme. If I want to get more information on this Launchpad Child theme, like for instance, I want to find out what the parent theme is, then I should just be able to click it. And we see some more details pop up. It says here, this is a child theme of Divi. Uh, and it's sort of been weirdly named 2015 child theme. But uh, it, the child theme might have been built out of the 2015 child theme or something like that. Anyway, it's sort of odd naming, but that's okay. The important part here is that we see that the that Divi is the parent theme. So now I can see the Divi theme here too. So go to theme details and we see uh, Divi is a theme by Elegant Themes. And if I click that, we're gonna go off to the authors of this theme. And this also might be a good place for me to find some documentation on the Divi theme. Here we go, documentation. So this is good. We've found the parent theme and we've found documentation on how to use it. So this is a this is a good start for us. So when you install a theme like Divi, a premium theme, it's going to load in a, a lot of uh, theme options which you'll be able to tweak uh, to suit your design. When you're presented with so many options, as we are with uh, Divi, it's really important that you know exactly what you're trying to achieve with each page. Otherwise, you will end up burning a lot of time going backwards and forwards. Uh, there's also theme customizer here as well, which is another way you can adjust all your, all your theme settings So having a solid design that you're you're happy with that suits your website objectives is crucial because the design becomes like a blueprint for building a house. You don't just sort of start launching into building a house, adjusting the settings of the house. As you go, uh, you need the blueprint and you only do exactly what's in the blueprint. There's only so many settings that, that they can give you to tweak. So if you've got a really custom design, then you're not gonna really be able to achieve that just by tweaking these settings. If you've got a really custom design, then you're gonna need uh, you're going to need custom CSS, which is, you know, this part down here. So this is where you write your custom styles uh, to match your custom design. 